Hello subscribers to my channel. It is now August 2024 when I'm recording this video. I have not released a video here since late May 2024 and perhaps some of you are wondering what happened. Not that I have released videos on a weekly basis or something like that in the past. In early June 2024 I had a stroke and was taken to the hospital. And I've spent a large amount of June and July resting and recovering and trying to take stock of the situation as it is developing. I'm not going to go into any great details here, but it could have been much worse. It turns out that I have extra blood vessels in parts of my head, um, which meant that despite the large clot, uh, blood could be supplied to large parts of the brain. There could be sort of like a bypass around the clot. This was all caused by atrial fibrillation in my heart. That's the right side of my brain that has been affected. In some ways I've been affected a lot, in other ways I'm hardly affected. Uh, but what does this mean for the channel? In the short term, of course, it does mean certain things. In the long term, probably it doesn't mean much of anything. <clears throat> uh, in May, about the same time that I was completing and uploading the Anthropocene, Gaia, and Planetary Boundaries uh, videos, uh, I was working on planning, writing up, going beyond just having a, a particular topics, but going in the direction of a storyline and a shot list and, and so forth for additional videos. And my plan was that I was going to be producing about three or four videos per month in the summertime and release some of those in the summer and then release others into the fall. Uh, but that's not going to happen, obviously. So, uh, building upon the rest and recovery from June and July, my intention during Jul August and into September is still some rest and recovery, but now, shall we say, somewhat active recovery, um, doing certain kinds of tasks that I otherwise would be doing, but perhaps in a different way with this channel, uh, in a preparation to see what I can do um, with the limitations that I now have, or some limitations that I have now have. Um, some of the content in this channel has been clearly linked to the environmental studies program at Malmö University in Sweden where I work and some um, of the recorded video lectures have been made based on particular courses in the past. But sometimes, like with the Anthropocene Gaia and Planetary Boundaries uh, video lectures or presentations or productions, uh, there wasn't any particular course that I had in mind for them. It could be that they could be used in a number of different courses in the Environmental Studies program. And indeed, uh, there could be lectures that could be used in other kinds of programs of studies at my university or in other locations. Uh, I cannot drive a car at present, and those who that have followed most of the, the more environmentally related videos in the past where I've not just been indoors, but I've gone someplace and had a nature preserve or something like that as a backdrop. Um, that's not going to be possible in the short term because I cannot drive a car and so this means that I have to be driven there. And well, in theory I could take public transportation to some locations and walk the last distance because of the stroke I would probably be too tired to do all of that. So that's just not going to really be possible. Maybe I can go to a park in a city instead. Another matter is that one of my medica medications is an anticoagulant, uh, and that essentially means that my blood is thinner. And it sounds like a really bad idea to be all alone in a nature preserve filming myself and then falling and uh, scraping myself very badly and then bleeding to death or something like that. Uh, so, regardless, that means that much of the filming during the coming weeks and months will be closer to home, my home where I live, or perhaps on university premises in Malmö. But like I said, perhaps if 
if it would be suitable for a particular uh, video lecture, I could do it in an urban park instead, or some sort of other location. Uh, I have some recorded footage um, from previous years, and at least one of that recorded footage I thought I was going to then mix with some interviews, uh, but that would probably require a lot of travel to be able to do those interviews with pe people here, uh, and so that's probably not going to happen, so I'll have to maybe sort of edit some of that footage down into something else that wasn't, wasn't exactly what I intended to do to begin with. Besides explaining why I haven't been posting so many videos recently, this is also a good time to explain, particularly for those subscribers who have been subscribers for a long time, prior to the Anthropocene, Gaia, and Planetary Boundary uh, videos, that, uh, that there has been some sort of a pivot on the channel, which you may have noticed. Originally, during the pandemic, I started producing videos about hybrid higher education about using pre-recorded lectures and other kinds of, of things, other kinds of forms of hybrid higher education. Talking about gear, talking about how to film oneself. Uh, some of these lectures, some of these presentations I also made in Swedish, based in sometimes uh, on a particular question or particular interest that was posed to me. Uh, some people seem to think that since the pandemic is over, then they don't need any of this information. It's not necessary. I know that individual universities in some places in the world have had instructors produce videos for their staff to talk about making pre-recorded lectures like this. And yes, you can make, you can use PowerPoint to record a lecture and have your face appear in the PowerPoint slide, and you could do that. Uh, but I'm talking about something which is more like a video production as opposed to a recorded PowerPoint. I might feel motivated to make more of this kind of content, but for me to do that I would need to have questions and specific comments on some of those videos. But uh, we'll see. As the entire name, as the name for the entire channel suggests, there's been a clear pivot here. There's also been a pivot not only in the direction towards more environmental content and less hybrid higher education content, but there's also been a bit of a pivot going from tailor-made lectures for specific courses in the environmental studies program that I teach in, more towards general environmental studies topics, more towards general environmental topic, in st studies topics that could be used in a variety of different courses in the environmental studies program where I teach. Some of those lectures could also be used outside of that specific program in other programs where there's the need for some sort of an environmental component in a particular, co in a particular course. There's also been a pivot with regards to how I approach the process, or before now, a pivot how I approach the entire process of of um, thinking out and filming and producing edit editing, but also the thumbnails and titles. There's been a bit of a pivot there, which you may or may not have noticed, particularly with the thumbnails. We can also see at the same time there's been a bit of a pivot. There's still some sort of firm connection. In Swedish universities, most employees are, are involved in research and teaching, of course me primarily teaching and then research, but we're supposed to have a third task. And the third task can be defined in different ways, communication, outreach, and communication. So we can see that this channel is part of a third task to reach people and organizations outside of the university itself. Uh, and um, by not thinking about specific courses when I'm making particular videos sometimes. And that means I have a bit freer kind of relationship to the environmental studies program. And that might mean that the audience could grow beyond students and perhaps former students in the program and students in other programs in my university. And that still fits within the third task kind of idea. 
Um, there are also some administrative matters behind the scenes that need to be dealt with uh, with regard to the YouTube channel, and, and that's also part of a, some sort of a pivot, but you probably won't see that, or it probably won't be so obvious that you'd see that. There are a number of YouTube channels that tell you how to succeed at doing YouTube, particularly the so-called long-form content. That is to say that we have a, a cinematic kind of frame, 16 by 9 and uh, 1080p or 4K, not YouTube shorts, similar to, shall we say, Instagram Reels. If you're going to do a pivot in your channel, you should probably do it relatively early, as the recommendation is usually given. So we can see this is a relatively early pivot in the history of this channel. So during an August and September of 2024, I will be sort of experimenting and learning based on some of the limitations that I have, uh, while still trying to have a rather high value in the production. There may be parts of some lectures that become more like um, me talking around a PowerPoint. Um, um, and that's because in part uh, of uh, limitations that I have. Uh, but I hope that they won't be too many. Uh, I do have one uh, video where I haven't been able to figure out, even if I hadn't had a stroke, I haven't been able to figure out what would be a suitable place for me to go to is to have a backdrop that would be of relevance to the video. And so that might have been, that might have been a more indoors with heavy use of PowerPoint kind of lecture anyway. And that was the message that I wanted to send to you and to share with you, uh, subscribers to this channel. Uh, I know it's a very small channel, uh, but it's important as various kind of advice channels on YouTube say, it's important to relate to your subscribers. They're more likely to relate to you uh, in return. And if you're watching this video, say, in 2025 or 2026, uh, then maybe what you're listening to doesn't make all that much sense. There are some, uh, my, some of my limitations, and at the same time this was going to be some sort of more major form of pivot and now it will probably be more drawn out and not as a strong kind of pivot as I originally thought about the content and the way things are produced for this channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel.